Hey guys, it's me, Zell, again with another episode of Tales of the Jedi. We're going to be watching episode 3 today, Choices, and I'm assuming this is continuing on with Dooku's story. Episode 1 for his uh, was already quite game-changing for me on my um, thoughts about Dooku. Um, I appreciate his compassion for justice and people as a whole. And sometimes you have to get your hands dirty to get the things that need to be done. And I thought he did it reasonably, maybe, questionable. But regardless, we'll see what this episode has entailed with him and friends. Love that I saw, again, a thumbnail of Mace Windu. Love to see more about him. He's also one that has a lot of missing backstory. I like him as a character. They did a good job of fleshing him out. I wouldn't say fleshing him out, but they had a good arc with Mace Windu that kind of depicted him as a Jedi when he's like out in the field. And uh, yeah, so Disney, get on it let's see more mace windu let's see some tales of the jedi of his story but yeah anyways this is dooku's story so let's see what we have in store for episode three choices aha i that ship is really honestly really cool looking i'm a big fan are the answers you need over Master Kachi's the same voice death actor from Clone Fire. Wars? No. How did the Senator escape? Good questions Why to ask. are you concerning yourself with these questions? The Council gave us our instructions. To return Master Ketri's body to the Jedi Temple. My friend, your devotion to rules is sometimes inspiring and sometimes maddening. <laughs> Believe me, we know. We know. Ah, uh, art is so cool, so smooth. Want to see more of it? Welcome to Raxus Secundus. Raxus Secundus. I am Jedi Master Windu. Is that Raxus Mandalorians? We are here to see Senator Lon. Look at those pointy nails. Being the Jedi that she was, she refused to let me out of her sight, and she paid for it with her life. Senator, Fake. we've taken enough of your time. I can show you where this tragic incident happened. We responded to the Senator's distress signal. By the time we arrived... His eyes are cool. It was too late to save Master Kutu. Hmm, how do we feel? How do we feel about this? It's obvious that he's hiding Yeah, something. the Senator's definitely fishy. Back to the Protocol motor call. Ooh, I love the fall colors. Ooh. That ship is pretty cool. It's got a mohawk. So, oh wait, Mace Windu is his Padawan as well? Like you, I will have the truth. Okay, Dooku. Dooku. Stand down. The guards killed her. <gasps> Dude, oh snap. I thought the guards were maybe protecting him, but. Oh, okay, bye tree. Yeah, no, never trust somebody with nails that long. They're always a villain. You and all of the feel reckoning. No. Oh no. Was that his son? Oh, even Maze feels bad. I feel bad for him. He didn't want to do that. He was selling off our planet. Peace. By peace, all from his comfortable residence on far away. Another coast. corrupt. This makes so sense. You lured Leric here. Jedi are lapdogs of the Senate. Their bidding always comes first. Ooh. It's evident throughout the galaxy. Jedi claim peace, but mostly keep law and order for the rich. Ooh. Dooku did not like hearing that. Katri was a Jedi. She would have listened. All right, I take back the nails thing. Your ideology, while faulty, does have its points. I don't condone your methods, but you had every right to protect your planet. Make sure your people don't lose heart and evolve so much. It is the only way you will truly have victory. 
probably say that for all of us. Interesting. Do you think the Jedi will truly keep peace if they continue to take everything the Senate says as law? Luckily, we are guided by our council and not by politics, nor ego. Ooh, that was a little pew, pew, pew. And shouldn't you rather be guided by the Force, Miss Mace, Mr. Mace Windu? Hmm? Should always be the Force, then the Council. Plo? Plo? Is that Plo? Oh! Master Katri was patient with younglings and Jedi. Is that? I don't want to assume. But Kiari Mundi. Oh. I am told you will be presented with Master Catry's council seats. Oh. I will. Okay, so he is, is a master. Is something you knew was happening before we left for Raxos? Dooku, you and I both were together when the mission was assigned. I stuck to the mission. You decided to interfere in a way that led to a senator's death. I will speak to the council on your behalf. How kind of you, Master Jedi. Ooh, he was feeling a little bit deceived there. He doesn't feel like he can trust. This is, the, even the music's giving you that vibes. Very interesting. I'm loving these episodes because they're very succinct. They tell Def just enough story to get the point across. Very tense and the emotions are there to set the mood. Basically lining up, you know, with these Dooku stories. Again, two different examples of corruption from the senators. And then the people basically saying, we are here suffering and we are taking actions into our own hands to make change come about. And that we can't trust the Jedi, at least the second folks especially are like you say you're keepers of peace but it seems like you're keeping the peace for the rich and the prosperous and people with power and not us the people right and that rang that hit dooku and i appreciate that like his meaning and he did speak to the guy and said i don't necessarily agree with your methods but i understand your point i certainly sympathize with that and i don't disagree and then that little bit of jab at the end with mace and his mace repeatedly saying the council follow the council follow the rules follow the protocol and dooku's like if we were to do that then they are right in that we are upholding the senate and their rules and considering it law when really we should be doing and be guided by i think while misguided dooku is trying to go with his heart and go with what the force would want he's just going on the lower frequency side the the more darker into my own hand side so i think he's starting to get which mace kind of is suggesting ego while i don't think it's our typical way of seeing ego in a sense it kind of is in that he's wanting to take power his control into his own hands instead of trying to work and and change the atmosphere or speak his truth he's trying to take it to his own hands to do what he thinks is the right way of getting things done so just an interesting dynamic to see that in that transition from them working in tandem to the end, like feeling that like almost betrayal from Mace of now potentially and eventually obviously getting that seat on the council and uh, Dooku feeling like you almost feel like you're putting me under the bus here. So interesting, that's all I could say. So very good, another good episode. So yeah, I'm excited for the next, the last episode to wrap up Dooku's little story. Um, but thanks for being here, guys. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video. If you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can let be alerted and uh, be let known when my videos go live. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. It was great. The show's great. Star Wars is fun. And I'll see you on the next one.